to simplify um, this kind of um, expressions, what we need to do is number, okay, we time with numbers, okay, and then um, for numeral letter, we time with letters, okay, that's all you need to do, okay. So at the moment, 2 times 3a, so this means that 2 times 3 is 6, okay, so 6a, that's all, okay. Let let move on next one. Let's say minus two times five x. So minus two, okay, minus two times five. That's all you need to worry about, okay? Because number times number and letter with letter. So minus two times five is minus ten, okay? And then x just write x out. Next one, four x. Okay, 4x times by negative 2x. Okay, now 4 times minus 2. Okay, a negative times a positive give me a negative, right? And 2 times 4 or 4 times 2, if you like, is 8. And then x times x. Okay, so x here. Okay, you times with x. x times x is x squared. Okay, you just do one step at a time. Okay, next one. Let's say 2mn. 2mn time with minus 3m. Okay, so what you do is this. 2, okay, time with negative 3. So 2 time negative 3, a positive time negative, give you a negative. 2 times 3 is 6, so your answer is negative 6. And then m with m. You see, m times m is m squared. And then n, you can't do anything, n by itself, so just write it out. So m square n. Okay, so the answer is minus 6m square n. Okay, so that's, that's how it works. So let's move on next one. Let's say minus 5 x square y you time with 2xy okay so what I do okay I use minus 5 first of course you time by 2 so a minus time a positive number a negative and a positive you negative 5 times 2 is 10 and then x square you time with x okay so x squared times x, so x squared times x, if you're not sure with your indice, okay, x is mean power 1, that's all. So the rule is a m times a n, your answer is a power m plus n, so which is two, 1 plus 2 is 3, so x plus 3, okay, so this means x plus 3. Similarly, Okay, y, you time with y. So y times y is y square, right? So that's your answer. All right, next one. 2, 2mn, two okay, time with negative 3, m, n again, okay? So again, 2 time minus 3, so you should get negative 6, okay? And then um, m, m times m is m squared. And then n times n, okay, so give me n squared as well. That's all. Now let's move on um, to dividing um, algebra expressions, okay? so. The question is asking simplifies the following, okay? So let's say 12, um, 12y divided by 6. Now, one of the easy, easiest way is to, first of all, you write in fraction first, okay? In this case, at the moment, you don't have to, but always um, good to write in fraction, so it makes it easier, okay? That's what I found anyway. So let, let's say 12y divided by 6. So first of all, I write 12 y over 6 first okay so then to do this you simplify so 12 divided by 6 you can can divide by that so which is 2 
correct? So your answer is 2y. Okay? So that's how it works. So next one, let's say 12y divided by y. Okay? Step number one, I write in fraction form first. So 12y over y. Okay? So which is, I cancel y with y. So your answer is 12. Okay? Next one. Let's say 24, 24, 8b divided by 6a. Okay? I just move this up a bit so I have a bit of um, a bit of space to write on. So this one, first of all, okay, I write in fraction first. So that means 24 8b all over 6a. Okay? Now First of all, okay, I simplify with the number first because 6 can go into 24, so I can just do dividing both by 6. So 24 divided by 6 is 4, okay, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. Of course, 8 you cancel out. So left with 4b over 1, okay, so 4b over 1, okay, is equal to 4b. Alright, move on next one. Let's say, let's say 20 minus 24, so let's say minus 24a square b divided by 6ab, okay? Now, first of all, okay, I write in fraction first, so minus 24a square b all over 6ab. Now. A negative, okay, divided by a positive, give you negative. So your answer should recognize that is a negative straight away, okay? Then 24 can divide by 6. So therefore, 6 can divide by 6 is 1. 24 divided by 6 is 4, okay? Otherwise, you your calculator, okay, because you're allowed to. And then a squared divided by a, okay? So which is, the rule is this. 8 power of m divided by a power of n. Okay, so the answer is a m minus m. So it's just minus the indice. So which means that a squared divided by a, your answer is a 2 minus 1. Because nothing on top of a, this one here, is mean 1. So 2 minus 1. So your answer is a power of 1. Okay, that's how it works. So your answer is a. Okay, so that cancel with that left with A, and then the B, of course, I cancel out. Does it make sense? And then the 4, of course, I need to write it down, so your answer is negative 4A. Okay, that's, that's how it is, okay? Right, let's move on next one. So the next one is 8A square B. So 8A square B. And then you divide it by 6ab square c. Okay? Now remember, step number one, I'm going to write in fraction form first, so which is 8a eight, eight square b all over 6ab square c. Alright? So now, what we're going to do is simplify. Now 8 and 6, both can divide by 2, okay? 2 can go into both numbers, so we divide by 2. We, we call 2 is the highest common factor of 8 and 6. Otherwise, just use your calculator. Okay, number, you're allowed, you're allowed to use calculator, but good to do in your head, if you can. So both divide by 8, I mean, sorry, 2. 8 divided by 2, uh, you repent. 8 divided by 2 is 4, okay? 6 divided by 2 is 3. You see? Now, this one here, a is mean 1. Okay, so because of a squared divided by a, so 2 minus 1 is 1, but the answer on top, so it's a. b and b squared, so b squared down at the bottom, so what we need to do, okay, b means just b part 1, so we just do 2 minus 1, because b squared is down at the bottom, the larger one is down at the bottom, so we just use the larger minus the smaller number okay so 2 minus 1 
is 1, but your answer is down here, okay? And C, we can't do anything, so C just like that. So now, I'm just write out the answer. So the top is 4A, you see? 4A, all over 3 B, C. That's all it is, okay? Okay, let me run last one. Okay, let me move this up. And then um, do last one. Okay, so which is, I give you, let's say minus 25 XY divided by, okay, minus 5X bracket. Okay, so now if you look at this bracket, doesn't mean anything. Okay, just bracket for you. Okay, so just to confuse you. In fact, doesn't really matter. So, step number one, remember, I write in fraction first. Easier, okay? So, 25xy all over minus 5x, okay? So, now, you should recognize this a negative divided by negative positive, okay? So, you answer positive. Then, you go 5 divided by 25 divided by 5, very nice number, it can fit in straight into it so which is 5 you see and then X you cancel out so that means the bottom left with 1 so 5y over 1 so your answer is 5y that's all okay now can you please try just I'm um, just give you one and you do it yourself okay so I just move this up and then you just try it yourself okay very nice and simple I'm just want to Put, I just want you to put thought into it, that's all. So let's say 8p q square divided by, okay, 12p uh, square q. Okay, so try to do it yourself. And thank you so much for watching my videos.